Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to cover monitoring and modifying with watch tables. The main program block OB1 is already open, so what I'd like to do is start monitoring. So I'm going to select the Monitor button, and this will start the ladder logic monitoring. I'm going to use Network 7 for the watch tables. So I'm going to go under Watch and Force Tables and select Add New Watch Table. When that watch table comes in, I'm going to use the float button to float it, and then I will resize the watch table so that I can position it so that I can see my ladder logic and see the watch table at the same time. There's a variety of ways that you can add in values to the watch table. I'm just do drag and drop, so I just drag the normally open contact, and it brought the address in with it. I can also just type in the first few letters of a tag name and select a tag. So I brought in switch 3 and light 3 at this point to start monitoring. So when I put the monitor values on, if I flip switch 3 on my PLC, it will change the values in the watch table. You can also put comments in the watch table. So I'm going to put in a comment in here uh, using the comment command. Next, what I'm going to do is use the drag and drop method. So I can just drag a tag you know, directly from the ladder logic into the watch table so it gets added in automatically. You can also change the display format of how you are going to view the values inside the watch table. You can drag entire instructions into the watch table as well. Now I'll change the display format to be binary. And I'll change this one to be binary as well and I will modify the columns so that you can see the entire 16-bit binary value for the int num and bcd out tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify a value. So I'm going to write in a decimal value of 10 into the integer number. Now I will select the modify all selected values column. This will write a value of 10 into the PLC. Now you can see that the binary bit patterns are different for int num and bcd out and that's the because of the you know, BCD conversion from integer to BCD. Next, I'm going to select my optimized data block, and then I'm going to put in a comment field that just indicates that I'm going to put in a DB address here, because I can put data block addresses in the watch table as well. So the easiest way to do this is with the drag and drop method. So select the data block in the project tree, and then drag in the desired uh, elements of the data block into the watch table. Now you can see the flashing bits are updating very fast. I'll modify the width of the column so that you can see the entire uh, tag name or element name. I'm going to turn monitoring off. You can press the glasses with a one by it and this will do one shot read. So each time you press that button it will do a one shot read of the values in the controller. So I put full time monitoring back on. Next I will show modifying outputs and inputs with the expanded mode columns. So now you will see additional columns in the watch table. So I will resize those to, so that you can see the entire column headings. When permanent is set for the modified trigger, it will overwrite inputs and it will also overwrite outputs. I will enter in a modify value of 1, which is true for the output for light 3. I will activate all values with the modify trigger. When I say yes, this is a permanent modify. So now the light 3 on my PLC is actually on, even though the logic is telling it to be off. So you don't see that being reflected in the ladder logic. Now I will deactivate the modification. Then I will eliminate the modify value for light 3. And then I will enter in a modify value for switch 3. So this is going to overwrite the input now. So now I will activate the monitor value again. So it's going to be modified with trigger. This time, because it's being written you know, to the input, it's going to be interjected into the logic, and you will actually see light 3 turn on, regardless of what the physical switch is set to, because I am overwriting the input with the modify trigger being permanent. So I will turn the modifying off, go offline, because the modify with trigger was still active, it prompts you if you want to actually stop the modification process. This concludes the lesson on monitoring and modifying with watch tables.